To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. Canals are vital to New Orleans, even if the one planned for Canal Street was never built. By 1800, New Orleans already had two river to lake transportation canals. The earliest, the De Brule or Marigny Canal, ran along Elysian Fields Avenue. By the 1830s, it was replaced by the path of the city's first railroad line. The Carondelet, or Old Basin Canal, existed until the 1920s, connecting the French Quarter to Bayou St. John, roughly following the path of today's Lafitte Greenway. The New Basin Canal, used from the 1840s to the 1950s, ran along West End Boulevard, ending near the Union Passenger Terminal site. Even King Zulu arrived on Mardi Gras morning on the New Basin Canal. The Inner Harbor Navigation Canal, the Industrial Canal, is the remaining transportation canal connecting the river and the lake. It dates from the 1920s. Canals can create dry land for city expansion, plus provide drainage. Besides underground canals, the East Bank drainage canals are the 17th Street, Orleans Avenue, and London Avenue canals. Hurricane Katrina's force broke walls of all except the Orleans Avenue Canal. All have been rebuilt and safeguard pumps added where needed. Our New Orleans canals, an ever essential part of our city's landscape. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. <laughs>